This is Glassboard Learning. I'm Mr. Chen. Let's do some math. Here are the problems for today. I want you to pause the video and try them out yourself first. Then press play so you can check your work and your answers with me. All right, let's do it. For number four, it says you have eight meters and you increase it by 25%. How many meters is that? Well, obviously we know that it's gonna be more than eight. Maybe it's gonna be nine meters or 10 meters or 11 meters, I don't know. So we, uh, what we can do is, oh, we can draw a number line. We can say that uh, this right here is gonna be 0%. This right here is 100%. And um, let me see, oh, I know that uh, this is gonna be zero and this right here is going to be eight because that's our total length. That's 100% is eight meters. Now I wanna increase this by 25%. So what I can do is I can divide this up into four and say maybe this is 50%, oops, 50%. This one right here is 25%. This one right here is 75%. And um, since this is divided by into four increments. I can do eight divided by four. So I know that from here to here, that's two. Uh, from here to here, two plus two, that's gonna be four. And then four plus two again, that's gonna be six. And six plus two, that gives you eight. But wait, I don't want 100%. I want to increase this by another 25%. So this is another 25%. This is gonna be 125%. And then, um, ooh, so if I add another two right there, that's gonna be 10. My answer is 10, it's gonna be 10 meters. Now, of course, there's another way you can do this. Um, you could also just go, oh, what's 25% of eight? Hmm, what's eight divided by four? Cause that's like the same thing. 25% of eight is eight times one fourth or eight divided by four. So eight times, uh, eight times one fourth, eight divided by four, that's two. So you have eight plus the other two, which is a 25%, that gives you 10 meters. So, hey, that's your answer. For number six, it says 50 points decreased by 26%. How many points is that? So let me see, I could just um, find 20%, 26% of 50 points. I could multiply them, right? I can say uh, 0.26 times 50 and to find out what 26% of 50 is, uh, that's gonna be 13 points. Okay, so I wanna get my original 50 points, and since it was decreased by a 26%, which is 13 points, I'm gonna do 50 minus 13, and that's gonna give you, let me see, 37 points. Okay, that's it. For number 12, it says that you have 12 inches here and it became 36 inches. We wanna to try to figure out if this was an increase or a decrease and by what percent. Um, well, obviously from 12 to 36, that is obviously an increase because it went from a small number to a big number. So I'm gonna write increased. And then uh, I need to try to figure out by what percent. So for those of you guys who are visual learners, I can draw a number line. I can say from here to here, this is 0%, this is 100%. Uh, this is zero, and 100% is 12. You first started off with 12 inches. But wait, it grew, it increased to 36 inches. So let me see, um, from uh, 12 to here, if I, Made, made it grow another 100%, so this is now 200%. 12 plus 12, that's gonna be 24. Hmm, ooh, ooh, and if I make it grow another 100%, so I made it into 300%, this is gonna be 36. So then, if you guys can see right here, it started at 12, but then it grew 100%. And then it grew another 100%. So in total, it grew 200%. So that's your answer. Now, if you don't want to use that method, it's okay. You can use another method. You could be like, hmm, from 12 to 36, how many inches did it grow? It grew, well, let me see, 36 minus 12, that's 24. So that's 24 inches. And then, you can see, well, what was the original? It was 12, 12 inches. 
So 24 inches divided by 12 inches, you find the percent. So that's gonna be two. But then we wanna make two into a percent. So we're gonna move the decimal point to the right two times, multiply it by 100. So go boom, boom, and add the zeros here. So then your answer is gonna be 200%, which is the same thing right here, you know, just different methods, same answer, and there you go. For number 10, I have 50 pounds, and that became 35 pounds. I wanna to try to figure out if this was an increase or a decrease, and by what percent. Obviously, this is a decrease, because it went from 50, which is a bigger number, to 35, which is a smaller number. So I'm gonna write a decrease. That's my first answer, so decrease. And we need to figure out, hey, by what percent? I don't know. So you can first uh, find out by how many, how many pounds it went down by. So 50 minus 35, that's 15 pounds. So 15 pounds out of the 50 pounds, what percent was that decrease? Um, let me see. Oh, you know what? You can um, set this to a denominator of 100. Right, because we're finding per cent, per 100. 50 became 100 because you multiply it by two. You gotta keep it equivalent, so you gotta multiply the same to the top. 15 times two, that's gonna be 30. And hey, that's pretty much it. It decreased by 30%. From 50 pounds to 35 pounds, it decreased by 30%. We're done. If you thought this tutorial was helpful, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel so you can get the latest updates. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.